of a day. I am Father Val Rodriguez, the parochial administrator of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish here in Totogua. I am very happy to welcome you to our parish as we gradually open all the churches in the Archdiocese of Baganya beginning this Saturday evening. Indeed, everything is grace and nothing happens by chance. For this Saturday, we reopen the doors of the church in the Archdiocese and it happens to be the Solemnity of the Pentecost. I said it is a grace, nothing happens by chance, because it happens that the Feast of the Pentecost is also considered as the birth of the Church. Such a wonderful and meaningful celebration that as we celebrate the birth of the Church, we gather together as a Church. But before we even reopen the doors of our Church, let me remind you of some very important protocols as well as tour you around our Church and our facilities in order to also help you with the house rules we have to observe for the safety of everyone and of course for a meaningful and orderly celebration. First of all, we are still in the state of pandemic. The dispensation from Sunday obligation as well as holidays of obligation issued by our Archbishop Michael Jude Burns is still in effect. And so if you have flu-like symptoms or you feel like you're at high risk, we, re we recommend that you stay at home and you can join us in our celebration and in our prayers through our YouTube live streaming as well as Facebook live streaming. The, the accounts, the links to our accounts are available on your screen right now. And if you are joining us in our celebration through this live streaming, you may still receive communion after the Mass by driving to the church Drive your car up the ramp of the entrance of the church and a minister will be waiting for you there to give you communion. We request you to step out of your car, stand by the door of your car, and a minister will give you communion. If you opt to receive communion by the hand, may we request you to sanitize your hands before receiving the body of Christ. Otherwise, you may just open the window of your car and reverently receive the body of Christ. And for those who are joining us through live streaming, communion is available for you for a period of 30 minutes beginning from the end of the Mass. Well, our ministers will be patiently waiting for you for a period of 30 minutes. But if you still prefer to just park your car and stay inside your car during the entire duration of our celebration, a video monitor as well as an audio monitor will be available for you outside of the social hall. And so we request you to park your car out by the parking space outside of the social hall facing the wall of the social hall and the communion will be given to you at the end of the celebration. A minister will be going to the parking space. All again we ask you is to step out of your car, stand by the door of your car as a sign for the minister that you want to receive the body of Christ. The parking outside of the social hall will be exclusively for those people who will join us by parking their cars and staying in their cars. And so those of you who will be joining us by entering the church, we request you to park somewhere else like across the church or on the, side of the, the other side of the church because this parking will be exclusively for those who will be joining us by parking their cars and staying inside their cars. For those who will be entering the church, we request you to wear facial mask and upon entrance to the church there will be a church minister who will be taking your temper temperature by using an infrared thermometer gun and another church minister will be spraying alcohol on your hands for sanitation we also ask you to refrain from touching the handles of our doors for our church ministers will be the one to open and close the door for you would like to inform you that the main door the front door of the church will be the only entrance door Based on social distancing requirement, our church, including our basic sacrament chapel, can accommodate up to 68 people. And entry to the church will be on a first-come, first-served basis. And as you enter the church, another church minister will be welcoming you, who will guide you to a place where you may be seated. And in order to help us to observe social distancing, we have placed a mark on our pews, which is actually the picture of our patroness, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Every person who enters the church must be able to stand in front of a particular picture of our patroness. As I have mentioned before, communion will be given towards the end of our celebration as we sing the final hymn. 
And of course, in receiving communion, there will only be one line in the center aisle of the church and we have to observe social distancing. There will be marks on the floor where you will be standing, waiting for the one in front of you to be able to receive the body of Christ. After receiving communion, we request you to go straight to the exit door of our church, which is actually the door facing the social hall. We also appeal for your help and support in order to continue our ministry. Therefore, as you go out of our exit door, there will be donation boxes where you can drop whatever help you may give us. In case there is an overflow of mass goers, we have also prepared our social hall for you. Based again on social distancing protocols, the social hall can accommodate up to 36 people and again, it will be first come first serve basis. Just like in the church, the, the entrance door that we will be using for the social hall will be the door facing the parking lot. Unfortunately, we apologize for the inconvenience. You will know that, of course, the, the, the screen of our video monitor will also be here. That's why a church minister will be guiding you to be able to enter through the entrance door of our social hall. Again, by the entrance of the social hall, a church minister will be taking your temperature again using an infrared thermometer gun and another person will again spray alcohol on your hand to sanitize your hands. And of course, again, we ask you to refrain from holding the handles of our doors for the church minister will be opening and closing it for you. And as you enter the, the social hall, you will realize that the chairs are already, already actually arranged according to social distancing. We request you to please not move the chairs or exchange places during the entire celebration. We also will be using that door facing the chairs to be our exit door. Oh, by the way, in case you are inside the church or you will be inside the social hall, in case you really need to go out for very important reasons or for necessities, you will be using the exit door, but in coming back to the social hall or entering again the church, you have to go back to the entrance door. And of course, if you will be here in the social hall, we will be providing you with a video and audio monitor of our celebration. As I have mentioned a while ago, our church, including the Blessed Sacrament Chapel, can accommodate up to 68 people. And we would like to show you the setup of our Blessed Sacrament Chapel in order to be guided if you opt to join us by entering our Blessed Sacrament Chapel. If you notice, we have marked those seats that cannot be used. Only the ends of every five chairs can be used for seating. My dear brothers and sisters, since we are in the state of the pandemic, only this time we appeal to you if we can refrain or avoid moving around during the celebration and of course we attend to the children. My dear brothers and sisters, unless it is really necessary, would like to ask you to refrain also from going in and out of the church. But if you really need to go to the restroom or for personal needs, you may do so. My dear brothers and sisters, Finally, we would like to inform you of our celebration, the schedule of our celebrations this coming weekend. On Saturday, it will be at 6 o'clock in the evening, which always begins with the Holy Rosary, followed by the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and then the Holy Mass. And then on Sunday in the morning, it will be at 6 o'clock. Again, it begins at, with the Holy Rosary, followed by the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and finally, of course, the Holy Mass. In the evening of Sunday, we have another celebration at 6 o'clock. And the 6 o'clock celebration is celebrated in Chukis. The Rosary and the Divine Mercy will be prepared, uh, prayed in Chukis. And the celebration of the Mass will be presided by yours truly. And of course, my parts will be in, in English, while the readings, the responses, and the songs will be in Chukis. My dear brothers and sisters, as we reopen the churches of the Archdiocese of Baganya, and in particular, our parish, the Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish, here in Toto Guam. Together with my whole community, I, Reverend Father Val Rodriguez, am happy to welcome you to our celebration this weekend, especially that it is the celebration of Pentecost, the birth of the Church, as we gather again. God bless us all. Happy Feast of Pentecost.